Bow, what's up everybody? Once again, it's Brand Man Sean, and today we're going over the lies of the entertainment industry. It's very important that I say entertainment industry because this video is going to take the full context that the music industry is within the entertainment industry, which also includes sports, movies, so many things that are entertainment. And what's important about the entertainment industry? Entertaining, because wherever entertainment is, that's where people's attention is. And where people's attention is, money can be found or created there. And of course, that money is the industry part of the entertainment industry. So let's dig into lie number one. It's organic. So many people like to thrive off of this idea of things being organic and these artists just seem so natural at what they do and just their brand and flow so fluidly. It's a lie, it's a smokescreen. The whole goal is to make things look natural, make things look easy and pretty because that's in front of the curtain or behind the curtain all this stuff is going on. All of you, so many of you have probably went through the mental process of what you want to post on Instagram and if you're branding yourself as an artist, like what do you want to post consistently in the work it takes to do that stuff but that smoke screen allows you to feel like these people have something special and that there's something really interesting going on or something extraordinary going on. Even those artists that look like they're not trying are trying. As a matter of fact they try hard as hell to look like they aren't. The ones that don't give a fuck they try hard to look like they don't give a fuck. That's all an image that is being crafted. And that leads right into number two. It's so easy. These people are so special and extraordinary that they do it alone. No, everybody has a team. Everybody needs a team. Even if somebody can pop by themselves, do some kind of viral marketing or something like that, they need a team to really create and sustain and take advantage of the opportunities and have a real career. Nobody can do it without a team point blank. When we talk about number one being a smoke screen and making things look easy, the queen of that stuff is Kim Kardashian. The fact that people still don't know what she does, and I'm talking about literally listen to the radio the other day, a chick was like, what does she even do? Because she had just sold $14 million in makeup in three hours. People say she does nothing, but they don't understand how hard she works to look like she does nothing. It's hard for people to fathom that that's actually what she wants you to think. That's what she wants it to look like and feel like because that is her brand. The amount of work that takes though is crazy. If anyone's ever been to a set, I remember when I was at the Monique show back when she had a talk show and they were recording the musical artist near the beginning when music artists always get shown at the end of the show or mid end and they show the intro at the beginning sometime when she just said hey everybody thank you for coming to the show today and everything was done out of order although they actually showed it later that night in a very specific order and of course the room looked ugly but that's what a set is for think about movies they look nothing like what we see on TV in real life. There's a name for it, movie magic. And of course, all these things take a team. So back to Kim Kardashian, what does she do? One thing she does hella well is get a tension. If anything, that's a talent in its own. It's called marketing actually, PR. So many people go to school to do this. So anybody who's in marketing that doesn't understand what they do, that probably shouldn't be in marketing. And understand that she can brand herself to be more likable if she wanted to. Obviously, there's a lot of people that do like her, even though I never have met one of those people in person. I don't have a problem with her personally, but when you brand yourself, there's always gonna be a positive and negative side. You're basically choosing who loves you, hates you, and who's gonna be indifferent. But Anything that thrives needs that positive and negative just like a battery. And that actually leads into number three. These people are dumb. So many of these people want you to think that they're dumb, but they aren't, right? That's a part of their image. The court jester back in, you know, old medieval type times and things like that use dumb or just joking to actually be crafty and as a strategy. Because when people think you're stupid, they don't expect smart things from you and it makes it easier to get away with things. 
That's that smoke screen. But it's all about brand awareness and people understand what they're putting out. Think about Lil Jon and how he presented himself, but then think about how he actually talks in the interviews. You know, we're gonna have each other's back because we like are boys. I know them like six years. So um, how do y'all know each other? He he was a fan of um, my music. Think about Bone Crusher and how Bone Crusher actually talks in interviews. See? And then I remember when 21 Savage was on Breakfast Club, he basically said that, hey, I'm gonna give y'all this because this is what y'all like. Yeah. But you think it'll be a, a point in time where you won't rap about that kind of stuff? Cause you know what it one does day, to the community. Yeah, one day I will. But if Twenty One Savage didn't come out rapping about them things, who would be listening to Twenty One Savage? Yeah. Would I even be on this platform to be talking to you? Yeah. If it wasn't for me saying ignorance to catch people's attention. Even further, I remember when I was talking to an artist that I know that actually said he met them Yin Yang Twins. He was in the studio with them and he was just chopping it up, a real cool. And dude told him, "Hey, we were in on stuff." They knew that they were a running joke for the world and people were basically laughing at them and they gave them material. They were giving the world material to laugh at because they understand that was their brand of entertainment. That was how they were capturing and maintaining attention. And that shouldn't even be too surprising. We've all remember that person in high school that always did stupid stuff, but they weren't really super stupid. They just like getting attention. So they acted stupid all the time or said stupid stuff all the time, or maybe you're that person. Do you guys really believe that these brands and images that we see of these people, when so much money is being invested in them and companies are relying on them, things like that are just completely natural in who these people are and aren't some crafted images that they're just leaving these things to odds? No. Think about whenever you have a camera in front of you. You are aware and you, you, and you probably become a totally different person. The music business is within the entertainment industry and in the entertainment industry only one question matters. Are you not entertained? That's it. Y'all know what to do? Hit that subscribe button.